Kahalah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of great mystery teaching real well. Peace and citation to the old full elect. Shalom, shalom. My name is Abar. In this video, we're going to go into discernment, okay, which is a very important trait to learn when you come into this truth, when you come into this faith, is being able to discern, man. All right, you have to be able to discern certain things through the spirit of your Hawabash and Yahushai, allowing the spirit to deal with you. All right, so what you see on the screen, it says, discernment will bless you if you let it, all right? Because when you come into this truth, we can't be simple, all right? We uh, can't be naive. We can't just go off of things, um, do things uh, like, well, how they say it, do things off, off a whim, okay? Uh, you know, and that's what happens sometimes, Um you know what I'm saying? Even in the world, people would do things just based off of wh whichever way the uh, wind blowed, man. All right. But no, we come into this truth is more serious than that, man. We have to learn the art of discernment. All right. So from there, I want to grab the, the definition, actually, of the word discernment. OK. Discern. It says to perceive by the sight or some other sense or by the intellect, see, recognize or comprehend. Or so like it, or 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 apprehend, okay. Um, it says uh two. It says to distinguish mentally, recognize as distinct or different, discriminate, okay. Now from now I'm gonna grab the word discerning. All right. It says this is the word for. The, the, the uh, discerning it says showing good or outstanding judgment or understanding all right and which is what you want to be able to judge things through the spirit man all right so let me grab the scripture real quick this is um the book of first corinthians chapter 2 verse 13 which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, which means what the Holy Spirit is teaching us, man. All right. If it wasn't for the Holy Spirit, none of us would be in this truth. All right. And you got to uh, uh, be able to, you know, um, discern and um, uh, analyze things through the Holy Spirit. All right. That right there is is where discernment comes from, because what we we, we 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 you come into this truth. The Lord has taught us the right way, the way the way to do things. And that right there takes discernment to not do things the wrong way. All right. It says consp uh, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. You hear this? It says, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high. So the natural man, all right, the carnal man, he doesn't understand the spiritual things. He does not. Uh, he, he don't receive uh, the, 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 the things of the spirit of the most high. So everything that he, he has or receiveth is natural, is base. All right. Brute, carnal. All right. For they are foolishness unto him. So when you when you're talking to a natural man about spiritual things, he he can't he can't comprehend, man. He can't understand. All right. I remember um, when I first came into this truth, I had an Edomite at, um, come to me and, and asked me about fasting, and he was saying, "Well, that's that's stupid. That's dumb. You're pretty much starving yourself." And he doesn't understand spiritual aspects of it because he's a brute beast. He's a natural man. Or right? the Lord is not dealing with him. All right. And fasting is a Hebrew is like custom, man. All right. But that was just just just, just an example. It says, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high, but for for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. OK, so the things of the most high, the things of the most high give us, man, and spiritually discerned. You got people talking about, oh, you blessed, you blessed because you might have a nice house. You might have a nice car. Now, th that is a blessing. But ultimately, blessings are things spiritually concerned with what faith, uh, hope mercy all right grace understanding wisdom knowledge and understanding those are those, those are spiritually those are spirit spiritual blessings from your help by shai and you can have all, uh, all the money in the world you can have all the nice cars all the nice jewelry all, all the nice uh clothes but if you're not spiritually blessed then you are finished man and everything else that you have is going to burn right along with you all right so let's grab a couple of precepts just going go on into this topic all right it says, um, 
I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start at verse uh first Kings and, right, and what I did here is I just put in the word discernment and 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 the Bible search engine, and you get a lot of different you know what I'm saying scriptures talking about de, 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 uh, about discern or discernment. All right, but it says first Kings three and nine give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people. All right. And this is what we should all be praying for, an understanding heart to judge the people, because the truth, you have you have you have become a pillar, man. You you have you you have become um you you're gonna have to have, have to judge certain situations but but, but between brothers or but, but between the, the uh, camp and so on and so forth. All right. It says that I may discern between good and bad. All right. So you you wanna be able to discern, all right, or um uh what was, what, was, what was another word, another good word for it? Um, to showing good or outstanding judgment or of understanding. Um, pretty much to be able, you want to be able to discern between good and bad, which means choose which is the right way and the bad way. All right. For who is able to judge this thy so great a people? And, that, and that's talking about the children of Israel, man. All right. The Lord sets us up. And he, he set us up to judge over uh, over over his sheep to, to lead them the right way, okay, to lead them the right way, man. Um, and 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 that's you know what I'm saying that right there is a heavy responsibility, man. That you know what I'm saying you want to lead the, the the sheep the right way. You can't be out here teaching false doctrine. You can't be out here just um going off of emotions or feelings or anything like that. You got to be able to discern these things spiritually, man. All right, because we're coming to some very very troubling times. All right. Um, so from there, I'm going to go, um, I'm going to jump down to the book of, um, I'm going to jump down to verse Job chapter six, verse 30. It says, is there iniquity in my tongue? Cannot my taste discern perverse things? And what you should be able to discern what's good and what's evil. Man, you should be able to, to discern what's spiritual and what's carnal. All right. You got these guys talking about picking up guns and doing this and doing that. Hey man, they, those guys aren't spiritually discerned, man. All right. And that's not according to the scriptures. Now, the scriptures say that, hey, um, there's nothing wrong with, ha with, 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 with having these weapons or, or these guns. But when you put all your faith and all your eggs in one basket into that thing, OK, then, hey, all right, you're going off. All right. Um, Proverbs chapter seven, verse seven and beheld among the simple ones. I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding. And you got a lot of that, man. You got a lot of that. When you come into this truth, you're gonna people gonna be at camp. A lot of people gonna come up to you, ask questions, and a lot of them of understanding, man. All right. A lot of them are gonna be void of understanding because ultimately in this truth, it's all about who the Lord set up for, man. If the Lord didn't choose for you for you to get this word, you're not gonna get it. All right. You're not gonna be able to understand, you're not gonna be able to comprehend. Okay. And and, and that right there is a beautiful thing. All right. That's a beautiful thing, man. All right. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 44, verse 23. And they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and profane. Now, you hear this? OK. This is this is very important right here. You got to be able to teach the, the children of Israel the difference between the holy and the profane because because it's not the same thing. All right, it's not the same thing. If somebody is uh, doing something that is profane. That's that, that that person is not holy. That person is pro 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 uh, fame, man. All right, like you got these two thirds that 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 that'll, you know, what I'm saying, be out here doing all, all types of form form forms and manners of wickedness. But a Jake, a simple ass Jake that just came into this truth. Oh, Shalom, brother Shalom. Don't realize that that this person that that's um, even though he might be a Jake, he doesn't understand. That he is a jig. He doesn't understand the the the, the, the right ways and, and uh, responsibilities of of uh, being an Israelite, man. All right. So he is profane. He 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 has, he hasn't become a holy yet because you're going to become holy. And the word holy means separate, man. All right. Which means what? You 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 are not like the rest of this world. But if you are doing the things of the rest of this world, then you are not holy, man. You are profane. All right. It says and cause them to discern between unclean and clean. Okay. And the and in controversy, they shall stand in judgment and they shall judge it according to my judgments. And what's the, what's the Lord's judgments? All right. The Lord ha has a way that this thing is supposed to be done. He has a way that this thing was set up uh, to, to be done according to his way, not according to our way, not according to how we feel, what we think. It's according to the, the way of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. 
and they shall keep my laws and my statutes in all mine assemblies, and they shall hollow my uh, my Sabbaths. So this is going to show you that um uh you know there, there's a very important way to go about this truth, man. Or right, there's a very important things to understand in this truth, and one of those important things is a, is a spirit of discernment. All right, because you have to be able to, 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 to discern within your spirit what's right and what's bad according to the spirit, man. If it's not lining up with these scriptures, man, hey, it, 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 hey it's not right. It's, it's not right, man. All right, because the Lord gave us these scriptures. He gave us these law statutes and commandments the right way. All right. He, by doing, doing that, he's showing us the right way, man. He's showing us the, the proper way to go about certain things. All right. The, 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 the way things are supposed to be. All right. And anything else. Is not the right way, and you got a lot of these guys that come into come come come, come into this truth, all right. They 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 come into this truth, and they they read the Bible. They are they 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 they, they see these scriptures, but they still have a Westernized mentality. Okay, you have, you have a Westernized mentality, and, and everything that they do is based off of you know the ways of this world, which is not according to the spirit, man. All right, because the ways of this world, it, 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 it is wicked, man, it is, and, and it is not according to the spirit. That's why the scriptures tell us what to seek out the old paths, man, to seek out the way things used to be. All right, because that there is the good way. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter six, verse sixteen. Thus saith Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths. All right, so you got to ask for the old paths, the old ways, the 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 the, the ways of the ancient men. All right, the men of the Lord weren't walking around here in damn skinny jeans and uh, you know, damn uh 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 uh, uh goddamn uh uh one none of these bedazzled shirts and these bedazzled shoes and walking around with some you know what I'm saying? Nah, man, tattoos all over their face. Nah, the men of the Lord wasn't doing that, man. The men of the Lord were rough, austere men, and they were serious and they were about the Lord's business, man. All right, we ain't. We, this is saying the time to be trying to be like the, the ways of, the, uh, of this world, trying to fit in with this world. We should be going back to the old ways, man. All right. It was, um, and, 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 and that's the spirit that you're supposed to be in. Man. That's the spirit that you should be striving to, to, to be in and to want to stay in so the Lord can deal with you that much more. All right. Because the old paths, that right there is going, is going to find you to what? The, the, uh, the, the uh, right way, man. All right. So it's Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. Thus saith Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and, and see and ask for the old paths, where is the good way? And walk therein. So he said, Where is the good way? And walk therein. For ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. All right. And and and, and that goes to show you that that's the spirit of Jake, man. That's the spirit of these niggas, man. E even even that claim to be in this truth. The whole thing about the whole garment thing, man. All right. When we first came into this truth, when, when I first came into this truth, man, yeah, I had on the shirt fringes. I was walking around here with a shirt fringes on. I had shirt fringes on all, all my shirts, walking around thinking, thinking I was doing it the right way. But as you grow into this thing, the scripture says, what? The girl and the grace thereof, you're going to find out that you're supposed to have those fringes on a garment. All right. So whenever you pray, whenever you fasting, um, and I, well, yeah, well, if you want to fast and do it, whenever, whenever you pray, whenever you, um, you know, out at camp. You're supposed to go back to the old paths, the old ways, man. You're supposed to be able to, uh, you know, have fringes on a garment, all right? An actual garment. You're supposed to get an actual garment made and have fringes on that garment, man, all right? And that right there is, is what? Holy, because what? Then you're not like everybody else, all right? You know, you're not walking around here with some damn uh, fringes on the bottom of your shirt thing, thinking that you're holy, but you got the same shirt on the, 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 the guy next to you got on, but he just don't got no fringes on it. Nah, man, because the guy next to you ain't going ain't gonna to have one a garment, man, all right? I'm talking about like say if you like going to gas station or, or, or something, man. All right, but that was that, that was just an example. All right, that was just an example. Um, from there, I get this um, Malachi, Malachi, chapter three, verse verse eighteen. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth him not. Now, now, wow, that right there was a lot. All right, and, I, and I'm going to go ahead and dissect this scripture that we just brought out. All right, Malachi chapter three verse eighteen. Then shall ye return, what, and discern between the righteous and the wicked. So you got to be able to discern between the righteous and the wicked, man. Who who's going to who's actually serving in Yahweh Bashan Yahshua in truth sincerity, and who's out here just being a damn nigga, man. All right, who 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 who's who's out here just just just, just, just pretty much trying to be uh seen or heard, okay? 
you have to be able to discern these things, man. And this is what's going to keep you in a and 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 the right spirit and and the right understanding and the right doctrine, man. All right, it's gonna keep you in the in the right doctrine. All right, then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and him that serveth him not. Because God can come up and say all types of shit, man, and quote all types of scriptures, and, say, and they might even say they, they they might even have the right name. They might even have the right name, man. But if they're not doing and serving Yahweh Bashim Yahshai in truth and sincerity, if they ain't doing it according to the scriptures told us to, hey, that guy's a fucking demon, man. All right, because, hey, the scriptures even say that e e e e e even the demons know the true name of the Lord, man. Or right, even these demons know um, scriptures, man. Satan knows scriptures, man. Okay, you, you had an incident when Yahweh Shah was in the, um, was in, uh, in the wilderness. All right, and Satan was trying to tempt him. All right, he's saying, hey, well, if you be a son of the Most High God, catch yourself upon these stones. And, 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 and um, roughly paraphrasing, he was saying how the... Um, uh, his angels will deliver you, which is true. But then Yahweh Shah came back and said, "What? That you're not supposed to tempt the Most High." So, so that, so that, that was them um, going back and forth with scriptures, man. Okay, with 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 the understanding of these scriptures. All right, and that's very important. All right, you have to understand exactly what you're a part of when you come into this truth, man. Saying something that you can just come in here and, uh, you know, uh, throw on a garment. All right. Read, 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 read five scriptures and all of a sudden you, you're in the truth. That's not how it works. And, and the thing about that is, hey, when you when you when you when you in that spirit, the Lord is is, is, is going to find you out, man. All right. You are going to be found out. You, you are you are you are going to you're not going to be you're not going to be able to last in this thing, man. Are right, you going to be one day and go on the next? All right. And, 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 and that's a scary thing. All right. Uh, let me grab this real quick. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 16, and start at verse 1. I'm starting at verse 1. It says, The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came, temp and tempting, desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. So they, <laughs> look at this, man. Let's go to show you. All right. Because the, the, the Pharisees, the, at least the wicked Pharisees and Sadducees, they had no spiritual understanding. They were natural men. They had no spiritual, um, you know, discernment. All right. And they couldn't even discern that this man, Yahweh Shai, was actually the son of the Most High, man. They couldn't discern that. Verse 2. He answered and said unto them, when it is evening, you say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but ye cannot discern the signs of the times. Mm. You hear that? But you cannot discern the signs of the times. So you got to be able to discern what time, what time, what, 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 hey, hey, man, what, what, what uh, time we, 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 we actually in. All right. Let me go right here real quick. Um, I want to grab something. Let me see. Let me see. Just walk you. That goes with with this right here. All right. He said you you you, you can't you can't discern the signs of the times, man. All right. So this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter nine, verse not uh, uh verse one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself." Now he puts me measure the time diligently, man. Ultimately, we're going to measure them according to the scriptures, man. According to these signs that the Lord has showed us through these scriptures, okay? Or it's like through uh, the, these uh, um prophecy, man. This prophecy and the prophecy is in the scriptures, by the way. And when thou seest part of these signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the, the world which he made. Therefore, when ye shall see, when, 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 therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the, of the people in the world, then thou shalt well understand that it is that, that the most high spoke of those things from the, from the days that were be before thee. Even from the beginning, all right. So you have to be able to measure the times diligently, man. All right, uh, understanding things according to the spirit. Okay. I'm gonna jump back to Matthew chapter four, uh, sixteen. I'm gonna go back to three. And in the morning, it will it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, 
but can ye not discern the signs of the times? A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And he left them and departed. And this is the, this is why he was the Lord speaking, man. This was the Lord speaking to to, to, to these damn uh uh uh, uh, uh 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 these wicked Pharisees and Sadducees, man. And he cussed their ass out. He called them hypocrites, man. All right. So a, a, a wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. All right. So the Lord was able to discern right 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 right, right there. Let me, let, matter of fact, let me go back. It says, go back to, to, to verse one. Because you're gonna have this too. I mean, you're gonna have guys come up to you trying trying to trying to tempt you and trying to uh you know what I'm saying, see, see, uh, try try and, 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 and trying to check you and, and get you to go off and say say the wrong things. All right. Matthew 16, verse 1. The, the, the Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting. You hear that keyword tempting desired him that he should show them a sign from heaven. So they were trying to tempt the Lord, man. All right. And you're going to have that. You're going you, you, hey, you, you're gonna to have people trying to come up to you and, 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 and uh, tempt you, man. All right. Trying to tempt you and uh, trying to, um, you know what I'm saying? Trying try, 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 try to check you out and, 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 and trying to get you to stumble in your words and say the wrong thing. And then they're going to try to crucify, you, try to crucify you for it, man. All right. All right. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, so let's uh, let, 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 let's go into uh, these uh, these these the different gifts because the Lord gives every man different gifts according to the Spirit. All right, and ultimately you want to pray and fast and, and and be diligent in this truth to try to you know what I'm saying to receive more and if not all of these gifts, man. Okay, all right. And this is lot this right here is likened into those different talents. All right, First Corinthians chapter twelve verse four. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. So it's all according to the spirit, man, all according to the Holy Spirit. All right. And there are differences. It's like, and there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. Okay. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same power which worketh all in all. Okay, so hey, when you come into this truth, man, listen, everybody has a role to play. All right, everybody has a lot to fulfill. And you want to make sure that you're not worried about the next man a lot. Worry about your own lot, man. All right, do your part. Okay, we we, 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 we all have our own individual parts in, in this walk. And that way that was given to you by the Lord, man. You want to master your part. And if anything, and, and if, once you master your part, you could, that's where you can start taking on uh, the days, try, trying to master these other talents and gifts that different brothers may, 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 may have. And they can help you master them, man. And likewise. All right. It says, but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all. All right, so this, so the spirit is given to every man according to the, the way the Lord set it up for you, or right, to profit you with all. All right, so so pretty much every, every man has a certain spirit given unto him, and when you come into this truth, you 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 come into a camp, you you become a part of a body, and what everybody like like what man, hey the the uh, foot can't do what the hand can 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 uh, do, man. All right, but sometimes hey, if you you if you want to fight, okay, if you want to fight and, and using your hands to, to punch a motherfucker, hey, you might be able to hey, slide a foot up in there, man. All right, but it's all according to, to the same body, okay. It says four to one is given by the spirit of uh, by, 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 by the spirit the word of wisdom to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the same spirit. Now, you want to ultimately acquire all these, man. All right. If you have the, the, the spirit of, of the word of wisdom, you ultimately want to get the, the word of knowledge. You, 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 you ultimately want, 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 want to get the, um, the, 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 the spirit of faith. Okay. It says to another, the working of miracles to another prophecy, which is the ultimate. All right. You want to have that prophecy to another discerning of spirit. So the Lord gives certain brothers the the uh, gift of discerning of spirits. All right. And certain spirits is what you, you, you might have actual spirits or you might have people with spirits on them, man. All right. You can discern this person. All right. What kind of spirit they have, what kind of spirit they walk in and what kind of spirits they, 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 uh, they, they, they are uh, dealing with. All right. 
going go on into that discernment, man. All right. To 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 another discerning of spirits. And it's something that we all should want to acquire, man. You shouldn't say, oh, well, well you know what, brother? Uh, you know what? Hey, Amen. I got this. The um the the the, the uh, gift of uh of uh, knowledge. And that's all I need. Not. No, no. That's not how it works, man. OK. All right. It says to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues, but all these work if that one and self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he will. So the Lord divided these these gifts up severally to every man as he will. So hey, you come into a camp, you come into a body. All right, some certain brothers might have certain gifts. Certain brothers might have. Uh, whole different gifts, all right, and becoming a part of that body, you 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 all can learn from each other to 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 master those those different gifts, man. All right, it says, as for the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body. Also, is Hamashiach. All right, so. All right. Look, look, okay, I'm gonna, actually, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit more. Verse, verse 12. For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body, also, uh, so also is Hamashiach. For by one spirit we are, so lucky, for by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and that Jews trust me, which means what? Whether you be a, um, you know, what I'm saying an actual Jew, uh, and knowing you a Jew or a Gentile, which means uh, you might be a Jew that that's in a Gentile a uh, a uh, 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 a state of mind. All right, trying trying to come into this truth. All right, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. So uh, in a body, there, 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 there's many members, man. All right, and all of us have have a certain role to play. All of us have 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 a certain spirit to, that that we that we have to to have, have to um you know what I'm saying add upon and and uh, grow in, man. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body. Is there is is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, because I am not of the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? You hear this? If the whole body were an eye, where <laughs> where were the hearing? If the whole body hearing, where it were the smelling? So the Lord has done this because what? He wants everything to be done according to his spirit. Everything m m must pretty much be, you know, in a coexistence with, 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 with the Holy Spirit, man. All right. I'm gonna grab some more on on on, on discern. This lesson getting a little longer than, than I expected it to. That's what happens when you go on in the spirit, though, man? All right. All right. Um. Mm. Mm. It says Hebrews chapter five, verse fourteen. Um, matter of fact, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to I'm going to go to Hebrews 4. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to verse Hebrews 4 and uh, I'm going to start at verse 11. Uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 11. Let us work. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. And this is why we go out and when we teach, right, we we uh we got to labor so we can enter into that rest, man. All right, because we got a lot of work to do, man. All right. Lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. So you want to, hey, we, we we got work to do, man. Hey, we we, we got to we we, we got to labor. All right. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and the joints and marrow and to a and it's like it and is a discerner. You hear this? The word of the most high is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So we got to always, you know, what I'm saying jump, go back to, to these scriptures, man. 
Because these scriptures, this word of the Most High, the word of the Most High is a discerner, man. It's going to let, let it's going to let, let, let you know the thoughts and intents of the heart. So if somebody come up to you, you're going to be able to understand the, their their mind by discerning them by these spirits, man, or, or like it's like it by these scriptures. All right, by 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 this holy word the Lord has blessed us with, man. All right, and this is why this word is so important. This is why this word is uh, so valuable because because you 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 able to to literally see through people with these scriptures, man. All right. Verse 13. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him who with whom we have to do. All right. So so the Lord will uh, make uh, the, these different things um, pretty much open to your mind, man. What's going on? All right. The Lord will, will open certain things up to your mind. All right. And, and and that's ultimately what, what what you should want, man. You should want the Lord to show you different things, to to uh, you know what I'm saying, so so, so you so you able to, to navigate in the spirit better, man. All right. Oh oh, this is beautiful right here. This is beautiful. I'm I'm, I'm gonna go. So I'm going to end out with a scripture. This is the last scripture. This is Hebrews chapter five, and I'm gonna start at um, I'm gonna start at. Let's see, let's see. Um, I'm I'm, I'm gonna start at start at. Let's see. Let's start at verse 11. Of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered, seeing ye are dull of hearing. All right. For when, uh, it's like yeah, verse 12. For when the time ye ought to be teachers, okay, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of the most high so you can't just come out here thinking you can teach thinking that that that, that you have understanding thinking thinking that all of a sudden you're a prophet unless you be taught again man all right you have, you you first have to be taught all right and are become such as have need of milk and not and not of strong meat so before you can get to strong meat before you can get to trying to you know what i'm saying getting deep get deep, deep understandings and these deep breakdowns you got to start with the milk first man you got you you got to start with the basics okay for everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness for he is a babe and and i ain't not wrong with that either too man when we come into the truth at first you will hey we we, we we all are babes you come into this truth you are a babe but eventually you gotta what what does a babe do when a babe first come out uh, 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 um it's, it's it's gonna drink milk all right um and more so that breast all right from the, the uh, mother and that breast milk has a lot of vitamins and nutrition to nourish the baby all right so 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 the, so the baby can 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 grow big and strong to be able to eventually eat meat all right so the baby can become like older uh, uh, a toddler a, 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 a child and a, 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 a teen and then an adult man all right and then once that baby is is, is is able to uh grow and, and, and once that baby once that baby grows, it wings off the milk, and then it's able to eat meat. All right, you can eat chicken, you can eat steak, you can eat different things, man. All right, but strong meat belongeth to them that are full of age, even those who, by reason of use, have their senses exercised to discern. You hear this? To discern. Both good and evil. So when you a babies in this truth, hey, don't be trying to go out here and, 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 and hey, you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to, to quite discern good and evil yet, man. You can easily be deceived. When you're a babe, hey man, okay, you don't really have the full understanding yet. You can't try to uh uh uh, uh you, you can't get beside yourself thinking that you have you have this all figured out yet if you're still a babe, man. That's why you're supposed to be in these scriptures heavy. You're supposed to be studying, praying, fasting, seeking Yahweh by Hashem al Shai one more every day. So by doing that, you can be able to grow in this thing. And the best way to do that is to start with the milk. All right. The the uh, milk, the basics is one keeps gonna teach you the the, the the right ways, man. You got basic scriptures, ba ba basic precepts that you have to master and understand before you can get into in, into these deep, deep breakdowns, man. All right. There's an order in this thing. There's a way to go about certain things, man. And it's not according to your way, but according to the way that Yahweh Bashim Yahshua have set up, man. All right. So I'm gonna bring that back and we're gonna go ahead and close out. Uh Hebrews chapter five, verse 14. But strong meat belongs to them that are full of age. So you gotta be full of age, all right, and, and and that pretty much just means that you have you once you full of age, it means that where well, you have been uh, drinking that uh, milk long enough to where you you, you you pretty much understand it, man. You 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 understand the milk. You 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 able to to to, to be um 
pretty much you have you have you you have the basics broken down and understood. All right. It says even those by reason of use of their senses exercised. All right. Even those by use and reason of their senses. And what, 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 what's the senses? Be able to see, smell, hear. All right. And you're going to have different things happen where you're going to be where you might smell something you're like, damn, so, so, something don't smell right. See some. Oh, that don't look right. Hear something. Now, that don't sound right. All right. Exercise. So by, by having this milk, your, this, your senses are going to be exercised to discern both good and evil. All right. So, so, hey, man, when you come into this truth, you have to be able to master, right? The spirit of discernment, man, because we come into a time where these devils, this devil's about to come with great ways and, uh, you know, what I'm saying possibilities to, to, to deceive the masses, man. And you don't want to be out here getting deceived, man. All right. Um, let me see. Let me see. Seducing spirits. Because the, 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 this truth is scary, man. All right. Matter of fact, I still like yourself. The last one going to be the last one. I'm going to end off on this right here. This is first Timothy chapter four, verse one. Now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Now, this won't happen to you if you have that spirit of, of, of the sermon. You're not going to give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils because you, 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 you're able to discern bad and good, man. All right. Good and evil. All right. Speaking lies and hypocrisies, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. You're going to have people come up and they, they, the spirit is really not really, really, really not dealing with them. Though they might have, have a different couple of understandings of certain scriptures and stuff. They might be able to quote certain scriptures. They might not have the full understanding of those scriptures, man. All right. And that's you know what? And, and that's pretty, 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 pretty much it on that. I think the point was made. But, yeah, you want to pray for that spirit of discernment, man. You want to pray for the Lord to deal with you, to tell us to not forsake you and, and, and leave you out here with no understanding, man. All right. And, and by doing that, you're going to have to what? get into this word. All right. Do what the Lord told us to do, which is what? To be in, 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 in these scriptures, man. All right. Your head should be in these scriptures, man. All right. Day, day and night um, as much as possible, man. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to close out on the say call her law. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I'm going to give double honors to the elders and apostles, great mystical teaching Ruel. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.